In this Experience Builder tutorial, we're going to learn how to configure actions that require relating two different data sources. First, I'm going to add the list widget. As my data source for the list widget, I am going to choose the boundaries layer from the PLT Experience easements map. This boundaries layer has information such as conservation easement date and property name. So I'm going to choose the property name as the dynamic text in the list itself. Next, I'm going to add the table widget. The data I'm going to select for the table widget is the property points layer from the PLT Experience Easements map. This layer has detailed information associated with, with each item, such as conservation value and property details. Before I leave this sheet configuration, I'm going to also turn off some unnecessary fields from the table view. Now, when I save and preview my application, you're going to see that the only interaction occurring is that when I select from my list a property, it's highlighting in the map view. The table is static, which is not providing a meaningful interaction for my users, so I want to change that. First, I need to select the list widget and then click on the Action Settings tab. I want to add a trigger that when the record selection changes, a framework data source filters its data records. So when I choose this trigger in action, I need to relate a table to the boundaries table that's associated with my list. My action table is going to be the data that I have configured for my table widget. So I'm going to select the property points and then I'm going to set the conditions that bind the property field from my boundaries layer to the property field in my property points layer. Now when I save and preview my application, you're going to see that the table below filters as I click on the list. But what you're also going to notice is that the points in the map view are also filtering. This is because the same layer was used in both the map and the table. If I don't want the map view to filter, then I would need to add a new table not associated with the map as the data source for the table widget. This table would just need to have a unique ID that can be bound through the conditions to the list view. If you've, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please click the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for content updates.